now we come to a very important and very scoring part of the exam which is averages mixture and allegations we have been studying averages mixtures right from the school now comes a new concept known as allegations so first of all we look about averages then mixtures and in the next video we will talk about allegations we know that averages is equal to sum of all items upon number of items suppose the items are 4 5 7 and 8 so the sum of items will be 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 equal to 24 and the number of items are 4 therefore the average will be 24 upon 4 that is equal to 6 so that is a simple way of calculating average then comes the concept of mixtures right mixtures means that there are two type of qualities of an item okay and then comes the concept of weighted average in that so weighted average is being calculated when there are two qualities of an item like there are two qualities of item q1 and q2 okay these are the quantities of the two type of qualities of items and then the prices of these respective quantities which are p1 and p2 we'll be in a better position to understand this when we look at a question so weighted average p in that case it means that weighted average when calculated over the attribute p it is equal to p1 q1 plus p2 q2 upon q1 plus q2 let us start with the question a batsman scored an average of 54 runs in the first six test if the first test is not counted and the seventh test is counted then his average score goes up to 58 runs if his score in the first test was 50 runs then find his score in the seventh test so his average from the first to the sixth test is got and we know the average from second to the seventh test right and his score in the first test is given so we need to know how much runs he scored in the seventh test so total runs scored from test one to test six we know that average equal to in that case will be total runs upon total matches so total runs scored from test one to test six will be 54 into six okay because the matches are six and the average given is 54 so 324 runs he scored in the first six test then it is given that total runs scored from test 2 to test 7 will be 58 into 6 since we are calculating the runs from test 2 to 7 right and the average is 58 for those test matches so 58 into 6 equal to 348 runs he scored in the second to seven test match score in first test is given as 50 runs okay now so score in seven test will be total score in first seven test minus total score in first six test right and we know the total score in first seven test can be calculated as score in first test plus a score from test second to seventh so that will give the total score in first seven test minus the total score in first six test right which is 324 runs so as we calculate we get the answer as 398 minus 324 equal to 74 runs next question the average age of employees of a company is 35 years if five new persons with an average age of 32 years join the company the average of the entire company becomes 34 years how many people were there in the company initially so it says that the average age is 35 and if five new person with average of 32 join the company then the new average becomes 34 so we proceed with the solution let there be n employees in the company initially so in that case the total ages will be 35 n because the average is calculated by total number of or the total ages upon the number of employees so that will be the average age and we know the average age is 35 so the total ages will be 35 n now if five new employees with an average age of 32 years join the company so the total age for new five employees will be 5 into 32 equal to 160 years right 
now we need to see the new scenario so new to to total ages will be calculated as 34 into n plus 5 because the new average is 34 and the employees now have become n plus 5 which can be said equal to 35 n plus 160 years because when those 160 years are added to 35 n then the new average becomes 35 n plus 5 or the new total ages we call as so when we solve the we get n equal to 10 employees so initially there were 10 employees in the company next we come to the question the average weight of all the students in three sections a b and c of a class are 50 kg 60 kg and 40 kg respectively if the number of students in uh, these three sections is 40 70 and 90 respectively then find the average weight of the entire class now here there are two type of attributes given which are the number of students and their weight right so this is the question based on mixtures so here the weighted average thing will come into play so weighted average over the attribute weight we have to calculate and we know the formula for the weighted a, uh, average weight in that case will be p1 q1 plus p2 q2 upon q1 plus q2 so here if you put the formula then you get in the numerator the product of weights with the individual quantity of students in the denominator we put the sum of number of students so that we get the weighted average so when we do so and we solve it we get 9800 by 200 that is 49 as the answer so 49 kg is the weighted average or weight that is the average weight of the entire class considering all these sections so it becomes very simple while using this concept of weighted average next question comes if two kinds of grapes which cost rupees 18 per kg and rupees 24 per kg are mixed in the ratio 3 to 2 then find the cost of the mixture per kg So there are two varieties of grapes the first one is this okay and the second one is rupees 24 per kg so let the number of first type grapes be 3x because they are mixed in the ratio 3 to 2 and this is the second variety of grapes so let the number of second type grapes be 2x now we simply apply the formula for weighted average over cost p1 q1 plus p2 q2 upon q1 plus q2 so 18 into 3x plus 24 into 2x upon 3x plus 2x so we just need to solve this simple formula 102 upon 5 so we get the answer 20.40 per kg so that is the weighted average of cost so that formula makes very simple the concept of average and mixtures in the next video we will see the most important concept of this topic that is allegations that is a new thing you will get to learn so in order to watch it do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon otherwise you will miss out the videos also your feedback is important to us so please do comment and if in case you like the video just hit the like button that will motivate us thank you